Right, we're back again for another video today. We're going to be reacting to the betting odds for the National League table this season. All of the odds for all of the betting companies have been merged into one and we're going to be looking at what the bottom four and the top seven is going to look like according to the odds. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell on so you never miss an upload. We're rolling them out recently, we're doing a lot of videos so keep an eye out for those and make sure to drop a like on the video. Let's go for 85 likes on today's video. And let's get into the reaction. And also follow our YouTube partner, Non-League Bible. Everything will be in the description. Go and follow him. He's on the road to 20,000 followers over there. And he makes some good TikTok content. So like I said, everything will be in the description. So Maidenhead have been tipped to finish bottom of the league. Now, after a decent season last year, finishing 17th, they are surprisingly the favourites to finish bottom, which, like I said, is really surprised me they've made a few signings so far Kobe Arthur being the standout one he had a good season at Dover Athletic last year so he's made the switch to York Road I would fancy Maidenhead to maybe get relegated but I can't see them being bottom of the league I think there's a couple of other teams that are weaker than them that will finish below them but Maidenhead a tip to finish 24th 23rd place they have got Wealdstone now they haven't made any signings of yet but a few players have been released for example centre-back Charlie Cooper who was a regular last season has gone alongside Ira Jackson Jr who chipped in with four goals in 23 games last season it's going to be crucial to see who they do bring in in this transfer window I can probably see Wealdstone being around 17th to 21st 23rd would be a bad season for them after the season they've just had. Um, so Wealdstone are predicted to finish 23rd. 22nd is Altrincham. Now, this is a very strange one, this. After a solid 14th place finish last season, it's hard to see them dropping that low down into 22nd and down into the relegation zone. Now, they've recently gone full-time as well. Um, so if anything, they could potentially do better than they did last season. They've managed to keep hold of a few players, Ryan Colclough, Matty Kozolo, Josh Hancock, who were all standout players last season. They're going to play a big part in their season this year. I totally disagree with this. I cannot see Altrincham going down. OK, they might be uh, the maximum I can see them being is 17th, but 22nd is crazy they have got in 21st Maidstone United now last year they were deserved National League South winners they finished on 87 points six clear of Dorking Mondra so they went up like we said deservedly their manager Hakan Hayritin I think I've said that right sorry if I haven't in the two seasons he's managed in the National League has got relegated twice and finished 22nd with Braintree Town so He's not got the best of records in this league. I can't see Maidstone doing amazing. But I think, again, in a couple of years ago, in, the, in their first season in the National League, they didn't do too bad. But this season, I can, can't see them doing wonders. 21st, 20th, 19th sounds about right for the Stones. Into the playoffs now. This is going to be interesting. We're going to go from 7th to 1st place. In 7th, they have tipped Boreham Wood. Now, this might be surprising. I think playoffs is definitely a possibility for Luke Garrard's men this year, but they need to have a busy transfer window. Top scorer Scott Bowden, who scored 11 goals last season, has been shipped off and has recently joined York City. So he'll need replacing. His goals will need replacing. Um, like we said, Luke Garrard, he's a top manager. I really like him. I really like how he gets his team to play. And I think with some good additions to the squad, they can definitely get playoffs. They should 100% be aiming for playoffs this season. In sixth place, they've tipped Southend United now. They really improved in the second half of last season. They've made two signings so far in the transfer window. Dan Mooney from Altrincham and Miley from Eastleigh. So two good signings to start off the transfer window. I'm expecting them to bring in a, another three or four. They will have a busy transfer window if they really do want to get, get push on sorry, and get playoffs. I think if they start the season well and keep consistent, they could be in for a good season. They were a team I wasn't looking forward to play in the second half of the season last year. We only beat them 1-0. They gave us a real good game. Um, and like I said, I think top seven should definitely be the target for the Shrimpers this season. In fifth place, they have got Oldham Athletic now. 
This is an interesting one again. A few players have departed the club following their relegation to the National League. For example, defender Carl Piagiani has left to Stevenage. Keeler Dunn has been released and a few other players have left. The two signings they've made, 33-year-old defender Liam Hogan and 38-year-old striker Chris Porter has been brought in to lead the line at front this season. Whether he'll be the striker to fire them back up to the Football League, I'm not really too sure of that. I think in the past two seasons he scored six goals in League 1 and 2, so he hasn't got the best of scoring records, but he might prove me wrong and he might score a few this season. I still think they've got a long way to go um, in terms of bringing players in. But I think if they get the players right, I think as well, they haven't been nice at all with the ownership of the club. Um, so hopefully that situation can get sorted soon. But I think top 10 is more of the target than top 5 for the Latics this season. In fourth place, they have got Solihull Moors now. After falling at the final hurdle last season in the playoff final, they'll 100% be looking to push on and get playoffs and potentially be outsiders to go for the league title we don't know just yet they need to keep hold of key players Kyle Hudden looks like he might be going to Huddersfield which is a big move for him Sabara is obviously going to have loads of interest after the season he's had they need to try and get a couple of players tied down and a couple of players need to be brought into the chancer window if they do want to match what they did last season they're a really tough team to break down and to beat, as we've seen with multiple top seven clubs last year struggle to beat them. They became a real bogey team to many clubs. And it's going to be interesting to see, like I said, with the business they'll do in the transfer window, what will the transfer activity be like for them? And if they make the right signings, I think they can definitely be pushing on for top three again. In third place, Notts County now. Until they appoint a manager, a real like permanent judgment cannot be made on where they'll finish this season. It all depends if they get the right manager in. Losing Kyle Wooten wasn't ideal for them, but they've quickly replaced him with Macaulay Langstaff, which is a good replacement. Obviously, we know interest will come in for key man Ruben Rodriguez, as it does every season. He scored 20 goals last year, so obviously there will be clubs lurking and trying to get him to sign pen to paper for their club. Like I said, it all depends who they appoint as the manager and who the manager brings into the club because they haven't really made a couple of signings yet. Playoffs is a must for the Magpies. They've had a couple of OK seasons, but I feel like if they get the right man in, they can be pushing for top three because the club of their size shouldn't be in the National League. Second place, Chesterfield. Now, since Paul Cook arrived, Things didn't go the way they wanted to. They fell from second to seventh. They lost their key player in Kabongo Shimanga and multiple players suffered injury. So it wasn't an easy time and it wasn't an easy ride for Paul Cook until the end of the season. They did well, well, well to clinch onto the playoffs. Um, they need to get a few more players in to improve their starting eleven and key that they get players in for squad depth because as we've seen, once they suffered those key those injuries to their key players. The backup players just simply were not good enough. They weren't good enough to finish in the playoffs and win the playoffs, um, but they somehow did on the final day. I think they will get top seven this year once they get all their players back fit again, because once they did, they looked a really good team. And I remember in January time, they were they looked favourites to win the league, but and then obviously the injuries happened, the manager went, James Rowe. And things just started slowly declining. And in first place, the bookies' odds have got Wrexham. I think we all expected this one. Just missing out on promotion last year, finishing second. We could have won it on the final day, but we didn't. And then we lost out crazily in the playoffs, 5-4 to Grimsby Town. A few more additions that Parkinson will bring in in this transfer window will definitely help us push on towards winning that league. And I think winning the league is 100% a possibility for us um, I think the league obviously this season isn't as strong as it was last season we've got Stockport gone which is good and Grimsby gone which we did struggle against them Parkinson hasn't held back as well he's released some players and he's had a good clear out behind the scenes and now we need three or four players to kick on and hopefully we can win the National League title. But yeah, let me know which team will finish bottom of the league and which team will finish top of the league this season. Keep smashing the support as always. We're on the road to 3.7 thousand subscribers, which is crazy. And make sure to drop a like on today's video. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.